Hello, today is March 31st, and I'm Mike Winsky with Romeka Corporation. This is the first of our series of videos entitled Work From Home Videos. This one is entitled How to Get Help with Conveyor Belt Power Calculations and Solve Conveyor Drive Problems. Romeka Corporation is the sponsor of this video, and we are a major supplier of motorized pulleys for the U.S. materials handling market. We were founded in 2003. We're part of the International Romeca Group, headquartered in Bergamo, Italy. We have nearly 1,200 people working in more than two dozen countries around the world. We're a privately owned group, and consolidated group turnover is about $200 million. Effective yesterday, Romeca Corporation's policy means that we will be producing motorized pulleys. Romeca Corporation is designated essential critical infrastructure workers during COVID-19 response. Therefore, we'll continue producing and repairing motorized pulleys from our Wilmington, North Carolina facility. However, all of our sales and administration staff are working from home just as I am today to prevent the spread of COVID-19. This video has been produced as a service to any commercial and technical personnel who are working from home with mineral processors or food producers or other production plants, independent distributors, sales reps, or affiliates. We're here to serve you. What's our agenda for today? How to get help with conveyor belt power calculations and solve conveyor drive problems. Well, we would suggest that it's essential that you first identify the conveyor drive problem. Two, you request technical assistance Three, you consider potential solutions, and then you obtain and consider a commercial offer, of course. What are the reasons for belt conveyor drive problems? Well, they could be any one of a number of things or a combination. It could be the age of an existing exposed drive system. It could be the lack of maintenance of a drive system, and that may be because there's no convenient personnel access to the drive system, or the location may be high or restricted or there may be very harsh operating conditions such as very corrosive or abrasive minerals or there may be you may have your drive in the presence of frequent high pressure and high temperature washdown the two cases in front of you are uh, one in bulk handling and one in uh, unit handling you might say the bulk handling application is an ancient picture and really the chain and sprocket should be guarded with expanded metal but the point is there's no personnel access that has been built to maintain that drive system. That would be problematic, be maintenance prone because it wouldn't get maintained. On the right, the environment might not seem too harsh because uh, recycling computers seems to be fairly straightforward. However, the presence of high tensile material, such as videotapes or audio tapes in a recycling facility makes exposed drive systems particularly prone to damage. Requesting problem solving assistance. Well, you should communicate, of course, we would say with your Romeca representative, that could be one of our authorized local distributors, it could be one of our sales representatives, or it could be one of our own sales guys. Of course, nowadays, so many of us, including distribution personnel, sales reps, and ourselves, are working in our homes. We're not out making sales calls, inspecting conveyors, visiting with customers, and many customers or uh, also working from home to the, the highest extent possible. In any event, we would need to have you explain the nature of your project. Is it a new project or is it a system conversion, something which would involve the repair or upgrade of an existing conveyor system? What's the nature of the problem? Today, we're going to be talking about reliability. Other topics to be covered in the near future will be maintainability, safety, space or weight problems, belt slippage problems, lack of power problems. Today, we're going to have a look at an example of a very corrosive working condition at a salt mine, which is causing conveyor drive reliability problems. How do you get assistance? Well, step number one, of course, would be to download and complete the application data sheet. On the left, you see a sheet that would be used in a food processing facility. On the right would be the downloadable sheet for bulk handling. In this case, we are solar salt mine. If the space provided, we would ask you to describe what is your problem. This person, for example, would say, I'm having a reliability issue due to corrosion. Please help me. You can also avail yourself of our online app sheet, 
which is available on our website, romancacorp.com. Food processing plant app sheet would be on the left. The solar salt mine app sheet would be on the right. Well, here's one potential solution to an exposed drive system reliability problem that has to do with corrosion. It would be the this, the Romeca motorized pulley, which is hermetically sealed and internally powered. This whole idea can, consists of an idea which protects all mechanical and electrical components from harsh operating conditions. As you can see in this cross section, all drive components are inside the pulley shell. The major drive components, stator, rotor, gearbox, and shell all work as one part to protect within a hermetically sealed environment those parts which are most susceptible to corrosion damage. You can see that when the pulley is put into operation, it's filled to a certain level with oil, and the oil lubricates all internal mechanical components, including motor rotor bearings, which almost never get maintained in the field. Our motor rotor bearings run in oil. Gearbox, of course, is lubricated uh, through the splashing of the oil. The oil also serves as a heat transfer medium to carry heat away from the stator through the pulley shell and into the conveyor belt. This technology has been around since the early 50s, as you can see. As we respond to anyone who has a question about a drive related problem in which we would need to uh, perform some technical uh, calculations, some, some power calculations. Uh, our answer would take this form. This is a very small extract from uh, what typically is a, a full sheet, one uh, letter size sheet of data. We would respond to your app sheet with uh, an answer such as this. On the top, you can see uh, the answer for a question that came in about a 100 foot long conveyor carrying 500 tons per hour at 300 feet per minute with no belt cleaners. You can see that we show that 5.3 horsepower would be required. We re-ran the calculations with two belt cleaners and you can see that 8.2 horsepower is required. Simple as that. This is another uh, type of output from our power calculations, which we're happy to do at no charge uh, for anyone who has a problem. This shows uh, two cross sections. In this case, it was a 150 foot long conveyor. On the top, it shows what the cross section of the material would look like, carrying 575 tons per hour of material at 300 feet per minute on a 30 inch belt. The bottom cross section shows what 800 tons per hour at 300 foot per minute would look like on that same belt. Once uh, the give and take is done, we've explained the technology. If you have an interest in taking the next step, our commercial response would look like this. This is a typical quotation form, happens to be one for two model 400M 20 horse motorized pulleys with a nominal bell speed of 384 feet per minute. We would present the specifications, the delivery promise, the part number, and of course the price. I mentioned previously that we are designated as essential critical infrastructure workers during the COVID-19 response. That means we will continue producing and repairing motorized pulleys from our facility here in North Carolina. The uh, stay at home law uh, took effect, yet uh, the stay at home order took effect yesterday at 5 p.m. However, since we are designated as essential, it's legal for us to have our production staff go to the facility and do what we're doing. And we'll continue to do that, serving customers uh, as long as possible. Going forward from here, what might we also talk about? This video addressed reliability. Uh, it, it addressed uh, a situation in which a customer had corrosion related problems, which, was, which were causing delays or production interruptions. Other videos will address topics such as maintainability issues, safety issues, space or weight problems, belt slippage problems, a lack of power, and that sort of thing. So stay tuned for additional videos similar to this one addressing those topics.
I draw to your attention our growing library of how-to video tutorials. Uh, these are available on our YouTube channel, the Romeca Corporation YouTube channel, as well as our website. And both places, the website and the YouTube channel, has our growing compilation of webinar recordings. As of Tuesday of uh, last week, we had our third one. These are one-hour presentations on some technical topic. The YouTube tutorials typically are much shorter than one hour, 10 to 20, uh, two to 10 minutes. I want to conclude this presentation at this point and thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions related to conveyor drive technology, conveyor drive problems, or conveyor belt power calculations, please don't hesitate to contact us at sales-us at Thank you.